everyone welcome back to anna nail school english youtube channel if you are here for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel i post videos on uh, nail extension nail art product reviews anything and everything related to nails so please consider subscribing and today we are going to do this technique called reverse french or inbuilt french that's what we are going to do so this is the snippet of what we are going to do today so with no further ado let's begin with the tutorial as you know uh, the first step for any extension is to do dry manicure so here we removed uh, some of the leftover products from her nails so that's why you see that uh, there is no natural shine on the nail plate so i'm starting with the dry manicure so to do the dry manicure i'm using an orange wood stick and i'm gently pushing back her cuticle and once i'm done with this process on all the nails then i'll be switching on to my electric fire For the dry manicure, I'm using an electric file as I just mentioned. I'll be using a diamond bit to do the dry manicure and I use my machine at a 16,000 RPM speed to do this uh, particular part. Uh, I'm not going to uh, show you the entire process because all my videos have these processes explained. In case if you wanted to see that, uh, you can check out my previous videos where I have uh, the entire process shown. Uh, now I have finished the dry manicure on all the uh, nails and uh, what I am doing right now is using a 180 grit file to file down the length of the nails. So normally people prefer to cut down the length using a nail cutter but uh, if it's too long I use a nail cutter but I, otherwise I use my file to file down the length because there is hypernicum underneath the nail plate. So. Uh, if you're not very comfortable cutting the nails of other people, you can use this technique and this is something that I'm very comfortable with. So I always use a 180 grit uh, file to file down the length of the nails. So that's what I'm doing. For extensions, we always trim down the length as much as we can and then we clean the nail plate and then we start with the next process. So here I have almost completed the dry manicure. I'm cleaning off the dust. I'm also removing all the hanging nails and stuff. Um, just overall we are cleaning the nail plate. Now I'm using a lint-free wipe and alcohol to clean up the nail plate. Make sure you have no dust or oil moisture or nothing on your nail plate. And today we will be using nail tips to do the extension. If you're following me for a while, you know that I mostly use foams. Uh, no particular reason, that's my personal choice. And there are many benefits uh, using a foam. Uh, but uh, uh, today's video, it's dedicated for tips and the design that i'm using going to do also it's a little easier if i'm using a tips that's the reason i'm using tips so the first step is to measure the tips so when you buy the nail tips you may see there are numbers uh, starting from 0 to 9 or it may start from 1 to 10 so 0 is the la longest or the biggest one and uh, the 9 is the smallest one so depending on the nail size you have you have to measure and see which uh, number fits the fingers right and then you select all the 5 or 10 uh, uh, you know tips as per the measurement and then you attach it to the nail plate and if you notice I did not apply dehydrator or primer now because I wanted to attach the tip and then I have to blend the tip with the nail plate so if I apply the dehydrator and all then again I have to dust off and clean the nail plate uh, uh, so then I will eventually wipe off that primer and also that's the reason I do not apply the primer dehydrator or anything right now all I did was just buff off the nails and then measure the tips and then I am applying the glue and I am attaching the nail tip so that's how we attach the nail tip when you attach the nail tip make sure that there is no bubbles in the glue and the nail tip is straight it is covering from side to side and uh, then you can just leave your fingers or you leave your grip okay
after applying all the tips now we can trim down the length so this time we can ask the client how long they want the nails to be i'm using a tip cutter to trim down the length so i'm not going to cut down a lot of length because i want a decent length here so i'm only cutting like a two centimeter length from the already long nails so that's what i'm doing with a tip cutter so when you're using the tip cutter make sure you're holding it straight vertical and then you are just cutting it in one go don't don't wait and do like soft you know pressure just cut it in one go so that you get a clean cut after trimming the length we need to blend the tip with the natural nail plate so for that i'm using a sand band uh, and my electric file but the same thing you can do with a hand file uh, make sure you're using the 180 grit side and when you do this make sure you're not over filing into the nail plate when i use my hand file or even electric file all i'm doing is touching the uh, tip where it is attached and i'm just lightly blending it so that when i move my hands on top of that or my finger over that uh, you know where i attach the tip you should not feel like that break where the tip is attached you need to really blend it with your nail plate and then you clean the nail plate and then you can start applying the uh, dehydrator and the primer after blending all the tips now i'm uh, again dusting off the entire nail plates and then i'm using the same lint free wipe and alcohol to clean out any uh, remaining dust from the filing and once this is done then you can start applying your dehydrator and primer so here is the cleaned nails now it's time for us to apply the dehydrator so i'm using mia secret uh, dehydrator and then i'll be using mia secrets uh, acid free primer so when i'm applying the primer i'm only applying it on to the nail plate not on the tip so the same thing goes for the primer as well so i'm done with the primer application as well again primer only on to the nail plate that is enough uh, next i'm going to show you the products i'm gonna use today so first i'm using a slip solution this is from model ones and next i'm using polygel this is from arena nail.com uh, this is a shimmery polygel and which is one of my favorite and it's a very beautiful color so this is what we are going to use um, to build the nails just the half part not the entire nail and then uh, we also have a base coat from TNT uh, because whenever we are doing gel extensions, poly gel extensions, we always need a base coat. Again here I'm not going to apply the base coat all over the nail plate. I'm only going to apply a thin layer onto the natural nail and then I'm going to cure it for a uh, 30 second curing in the LED lamp. To start with, I am going to take a decent uh, size uh, bead for my base application and uh, so here uh, the application technique is slightly different because I am not going to create the entire nail, I am just going to create that French curve. So for that I place the uh, bead right here a little far from the cuticle and I am using a Kolinsky brush to do the application part. Uh, with this particular polygel Kolinsky brushes works best so that's the reason I am using a number 10 uh, Kolinsky brush. Uh, this is basically an acrylic extension brush. So now when you are uh, you know patting down the gel here there is a slight difference. So normally when we do the uh, application we can pull down just create the apex and we pull down the excess product towards the free area but here we need it to be like a French curve so when you are leveling the product after the uh, apex creation see how I'm I'm pushing it to, uh, to the inside and creating a French curve so the reason uh, I'm, so normally there are two types of French one is inbuilt French and the second one is using gel polish you draw all the French lines either using gel polish or gel liners um, so th that is a uh, hand drawn french and this is an inbuilt french because we are sculpting the nail or building the nail in a french way using the product so here i am gently creating that curve the french curve and then whatever uh, you know french designs that i'm planning to do is what is going to go uh, uh, on the rest of the nail so i'm being very careful and once this part is done i'm gonna send it for curing for uh, 60 seconds and then i continue with the next part of the application 
after curing you can use your lint free wipe uh, and alcohol to remove any uh, the sticky layer from the um, you know gel and once this is done then we can use a file to file down and make that french line really uh, crisp because sometimes when we apply the product may not be like 100 percent uh, you know uh, uh, leveled or curvy uh, in the french area so which we need to use a hand file to really file down and make it really crisp and sharp so that's what i'm doing here so the file i'm using is a 180 grit side and since it's poly gel it's very easy to file but if it's a uh, an acrylic uh, uh, application then you may want to use an electric file to get that crispness uh, or hand file also can be used but then that will take a little extra time so if you're not able to get the crisp one using the regular file you can use like disposable files like this because these are like really thin and you can get that really fine round shape using these types of uh, disposable files so once this is done then again i am going to clean up the nails and then i am going to do the rest of the uh, decorations and other stuff i wanted to do on that uh, tip the transparent tip area that you see here So at first I'm using a purple color gel and a, a liner brush to uh, cover the uh, French area. So I wanted a purple base so for that I'm using this uh, purple gel and I'm making sure that that corner of the French a uh, nail area is like really dark purple and then I'm like using the leftover color to just give like a translucent purple base so that whatever uh, you know uh, decorative item that i'm going to put on is going to have like a purple background so these are the decorative items i'm going to use so i have a bunch of glitters flakes and then uh, some charms etc so these are the things that i'm going to use today so once i have applied that gel then i send it for like a 30 second cure and now i'm going to start with the flakes so here again i think i used a bunch of different purple and blue color flakes and i applied it and then then eventually I'm going to add all these tiny things as per uh, my you know happiness or my preference so you can just play with whatever things that you have and you can just fill it fill that area with whatever decoration items that you wanted to do so this is what I'm doing I'm just going to let you watch this part uh, because this is really fun to like you know do the trial and error experiment which one looks good and how to do that so that's what I'm doing so I'm going to let you guys watch this part Now that we have all the elements inside the nails, it's time for us to encapsulate uh, the design. So for that, I'm using a clear acrylic. On the uh, index finger, I tried um, uh, Builder Gel, but it was taking a little extra time. So I switched to acrylic because I was already tired. So I just wanted to get it over with. So uh, instead of gel, I started using my acrylic and uh, I'm using clear acrylic from Glam and Glitz and uh, when you are encapsulating make sure uh, that you have enough product on your brush and just don't do too much brush marks because we will leave bubbles in it so uh, avoid uh, doing that just ge be gentle and then cover the entire design and now it's time for us to file and shape so for filing and shaping i'm using a hand file first i'm just going to level up and give a rough filing around the side walls and the free edge area then i'll use my electric file to file and level the entire nails i'm using a carbide bit here i'm filing down so that i have that crisp uh, french edge 
so if you see even if your colors are going above the uh, you know the french area you can still remove that by filing it and you will have like a really crisp french line uh, you can also uh, work on the thickness of the nails at this point if it's too thick you can file it using the electric file or even the hand file will work but hand file it's going to uh, make you more tired uh, because here we need a little extra filing since it's a poly gel we don't have to like do too much filing because it's soft and easy to file uh, but this is a fun part filing and like shaping bringing it into life that is the fun part so after cleaning up this is how it looks now it's time for us to top coat it I'm using TNT's uh, no wipe top coat I'm applying a good amount of top coat on top of it and as you can see our glitters and all are going to shine through the top coat and make sure you're covering all the corners and once this is done you can send it for curing 60 second and then you can apply some cuticle oil and all and then it's photo ready so that is the final look of today's nails and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like to see this video in a hindi uh, version then i have a hindi youtube channel uh, i'll leave the links in the description box so you can subscribe to that channel as well and uh, um, that's it for today so uh, don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel turn on the notifications and i'll see you soon on my next video until then take care stay safe stay happy thank you bye bye